Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions, the worlds of TV, film, social media, pop culture, sports, everything really depending on the guest. Uh, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miliotis. And on social media, you know me as PD Beats. And my guest is a returning guest. He is Ray Perry on SEAL Team. And he is also in Insecure on HBO. Neil Brown Jr. is back with us. Neil, welcome back to the show, man. Thanks, brother. Thanks for having me. Well, last time you came on, you know, we weren't able to talk about SEAL Team. So congrats about the su- congrats for the success of that show, man. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 um uh, it's we've been well received by everyone. So it's all just been um really great. I'm really happy about it. <laughs> Absolutely. And I mean you've been you know, you've been working in, you know, T V and film for a long time right now and it's one of those things where, you know, it was announced that you were gonna be, you know, um a you know cat like star main role on seal team and you know you were doing a lot of films and a lot of movies and your your role as chad on insecure as well you're doing a bunch mm-hmm. of stuff but uh that to that that must have been kind of you know the hard work has paid off when you landed that role as ray in seal team yeah i mean a form of it i think the hard work begins when um you get a show like that because it's so it's so much in it's so much outside of just the work and getting it right and the, you know, the intentions, the words, the physical part of it. It's um, the subject matter, you know, um, these are real people. Uh, on Insecure, Chad, Chad's a mixture of a bunch of different people and everybody knows a Chad, mm-hmm. but it's not, you, you know, you don't, you're not doing anything that affects him good or bad, but when you're playing, um, you know, our, one of our nation's special operators, there's a certain culture, a certain respect involved, and you want to be honest and authentic about about doing it. Um, and you don't want to come off false. I mean, if, you know, if you care, which we all do very much so. So uh, showing the, you know, how the special operators, how they really are to the, you know, as far as uh, we're allowed to, <clears throat> and then their families as well. And the strain that it puts on the families of the people in our military, not just special operators, but you know, in, in all branches uh, of the military, in all jobs, MOS. And, um, so it, it, it's, uh, that's that's the, that's a big hard part. It can be quite stressful. And then there's all the Twitter and the Instagram and, you know, it's just a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know about. <laughs> but you're killing it on the social media, though. Neil Bradford, you're like, you know, you're almost at 100K followers on Instagram, man. It's just, it's, you're killing the game. Yeah, is that good? I, don't, I, I really don't. I see guys with millions of Twitter followers, I, millions of Instagram followers, and I don't know what they do. Is that good? I mean, I don't know. They're just cute, cute people. I have no clue. I've well, never seen it's like my, it's, just... it's like my my dog has one hundred fifty thousand followers. He's just a little dog. So there you get, there you have it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it all right there. So, um, but I, we are very appreciative, appreciative of um, everyone who engages and watches the show. Everyone is so very kind. And some of the stories that I get, a lot of people hit me up on Twitter, um, Instagram and, and Twitter and Facebook, and um, I'm not able to respond. There is a vast amount. I don't know how people with millions of followers do it, um, but there's just so much. And I put a certain level of work into my work. So I'm always, I'm, I have my scripts right here right now because I need to get into them right after we get off. Um, which is why I'm so glad we, we get, have the weekend so I can really get into these scripts because I read each one three times before I start breaking down the lines and stuff. So there's so much work there involved. I don't get to really respond to everyone on you know Twitter and Instagram and all that, but I do get to read at least 90% of it all. And I'm very moved and touched by a lot of the, uh, a lot of the stories. And uh, if I was to try to engage, it would be just a back and forth because I can't stop, <laughs> you know. For um, sure, for sure. Yeah. So you we, know... We were, there's so many amazing TV shows out there right now. You are on one of those big TV shows. From your perspective, being an actor who has a main role in one of those TV shows, what do you kind of think of the current landscape of television right now? Um, this is a lot of content. <laughs> it's a lot of content. It's really hard to keep track. I don't get to watch TV anymore. I mean, um, but that's just kind of part of 
who I am. I love TV. I love movies. I love, I'm, I just, I love this medium that we work in. I love, you know, being in it and I love watching it and watching great performances. I love actors and artists. Um, so I think it's, my wife keeps me abreast of what's new. Um, interestingly enough, you know, CBS, we've got some pretty cool stuff on, you know, going on. I, I caught up on Evil, which is is cool. My boy Mike Coulter on there. Um, I actually really dig that show. Um, I think it's interesting. I think with all the with with all the the content that we have, um, I think it almost forces people to be sharper, better, um, to think more about their shots and not just throw out crap because people can just change the channel or they can pick up their phone, swipe, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, next, doot, you know, I can bend something else. So I like the sound before. effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh, place guy. Yeah. My pastor was saying that the other day. He said <laughs> That's what he said. You the bad part that just Yeah. and start doing the right thing. Um uh I I I I enjoy a lot of the stuff. I mean, yeah. everything looks like the, the the back in the day, the 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 distance between television and film was vast and now they're like this because they're basically shot on the same thing in the same way. And a lot of TV shows look like just film. Uh, and uh, the subject matter they're working with is more accustomed to what a film would have in there. So I think, um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it'll, I think it'll get better and better. Um, you know, performances are going to be more, you know, even more authentic and stories are going to be more interesting and hopefully we'll get more original content out there. No, Absolutely. Um, SEAL Team is a drama. You're on Insecure, which is a comedy. I think I asked this last time you were on. Um, from just preference, Neil Brown Jr.'s preference. I mean, you might just say you like them both, but is there a preference between the type of genres that you like to work in, like comedy or drama, or do you just like it all? Comedy is really hard for me. Really? Uh, yeah, comedy is really hard. Timing, so important. Um, and the people that I work with most of the time have done it for so long. I don't want to disrespect their performance by not being um, worthy or having the, the, the timing to, to, to work with them, to be able to keep up. Um, I don't want to drag a relay team down because I'm a slow runner, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> uh, so it's, it can be quite stressful, but fortunately everyone on that show on Insecure, um, Issa and, and, you know, Kelly and, um, you know, the Jay and, and, and Prentice, the showrunner, the, and all the writers, uh, Amy Aniobi, all of the, they, they're really great at um, coming around, writing the roles in a way that like kind of just flow out of my mouth. Most of the stuff is it's very, the only ad lib stuff you <laughs> is, is like after we've done the scene. So it's very little ad libbing. Most of the stuff is written the way, for Chad. And so they write it very good the way he, um, they write the way he talks very well. So it fits um, what I can do. I mean, he talks so fast and it's so difficult to keep up sometimes you were, you, chad was a, a gif a, a gif at one point like a meme eh? like one of the earlier yeah. with like this like with the drink like the, the sip in the juice the the yeah <laughs> Chad was just gonna sip his juice that was a huge meme i had no clue and so my <laughs> sister was into, like look on your phone and type image you know just boom it popped up i was really impressed um and that show has been such a blessing uh the drama is is kind of my bread and butter. I, I mean, I understand that more, um, just because I, naturally I, I kind of get what the text is trying to say and, and you know what makes people tick. And that's why I read it so often, over and over and over again, just because you know maybe I see something different. With comedy, it's harder to see. But my favorite is to blend the two. I like you know dramedy. I like action comedy. Mm -hmm. um, which I uh, haven't done a lot of, but I've done a lot of comedy and, and a lot of dramas and action. So let's bring them together. Never back down, man. One of my favorite movies. Like, I always bring it up to you. Yeah, Never Back Down was it was a hoot. It was a lot of fun. I still was, I still watch that movie sometimes, eh? Like I'll still yeah. like watch it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time. I just you know I was in a different place in it. You know, 
um, much like Evan Peters, who you see how he was great doing that character in that Dude, show. He was so good in that movie. American Horror Story. And you're like, oh my God, this guy's a genius. Yeah. So, yeah. But it was, it was one of those things where I remember when I went to go see it, I was younger, and I thought, I was like, man, this, is a co- this movie's cool. They, they, this, yeah. It's yeah. a cool, they made it cool at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, we had a real great, great time. Jeff Wadlow. Uh, the director um, is just, you know, he, he's a superstar in that one. He knew exactly what he wanted, and and we went out there, and, and our producers and Jeffy Chanoff and all those guys, they they um, uh, took care of us and, and, and made it uh, made it pretty awesome. It must be cool for them too to look and look at yourself and Evan Peters, who were on like you know Evan Peters had a significant role, but you know you were one of the fr- you were one of the the friends. You know what I mean? That uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. And it yeah, must be cool to them to realize how successful you guys have been with your shows now, right? Say it again. No, it must be cool for you know the cast and crew to look at y- yourself and Evan Peters that are on very successful shows right now. Uh yeah yeah no it was um. You know, seeing all this, I, I'm, and I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of some of their uh, of, of, of their shows. The, the, the other guys that were on the movie that I watch, um, it was it's been it's been really cool watching them all grow, and um, and uh, you know, I'm 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 having a good time seeing what comes next. You know, oh, uh, we're all on like it's funny that you said it because we were all on like successful uh, shows. I mean, we we all ended up on successful shows. I mean, I think, I think even um, Cam Gigande, I think he uh, he went on to do the show Diamonds or something like that. Yeah. Uh, um, well, a uh, lot of people knew him, I believe, from the OC, right? Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The OC, <laughs> exactly. That, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. That yeah. show was, you know what? Adam Brody all of a sudden is like doing all this stuff. He was just in Shazam, and he was in this movie called Ready or Not. And he, yes, like, yes, well, good for him. Like, there's, he's he's everywhere all of a sudden, man. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm like uh, I'm having a real uh, good time um, watching it. You know, watching it all unfold. Same thing with you know, Insecure. Everybody, those guys work. Everybody works so much, dude. I was watching, um, I was watching, what was I watching? Uh, uh, this new trailer for this, uh, for this love story with, uh, Issa and Lakeith Stanfield and, and, and Lil Rel. And I'm just like, I work with all these guys over here. Now they over here making these nice love stories. <laughs> when can I be down? <laughs> That's funny. What can you share from, you know, shooting SEAL team specifically on set? or you know the making of it what can you kind of share any kind of cool stories in regards to you know how that show is made because that it's it's incredible to see it you know what i mean what about kind of the behind the scenes aspect of it is um it, are there grueling days talk tell us a little bit about kind of making seal team uh they're all grueling days i mean we, like you get things we travel to serbia um, which was Serbia was a beautiful place. Um, it was wonderful. It's just that trip was really hard, particularly on me. It was really hard on all of us. We had six days, we worked six days a week, a uh, minimum of 16, 15, 16 hours a day. Um, lots of just action, 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 grueling. and grueling action. And, and, um, w- what's really hard is, you know, to keep up the, the body style and all the strength and everything, because we have to still, we have to work out, we have to eat a certain way, we have to have a certain amount of nutrition. And they don't really have a market for that stuff over there. No. So if you didn't bring it, because they're not walking around, they're not, they don't work out like that. They're all just tall and beautiful. That's it. <laughs> they're just tall and pretty, they smoke cigarettes and drink coffee. And it's like, I, I need, you know, I need a certain amount of chicken and rice and protein and all this stuff. Um, so, you know, trying to balance and, and stay in shape and stay mentally and healthy and all that stuff. It's mentally healthy as well as physically and emotionally, spiritually healthy. It was really difficult over there. And then you come back here um, and you got to tr- sort of try to fit into the groove, um, which can be quite difficult because 
you know, all our kit is real. All the movements are um, tactically, for the most part, uh, tactically on point, and you don't want to get it wrong. You don't want to look like a fool because, like I said, you know, these guys who are, uh, who are portraying, um, they don't get it wrong. <laughs> so, you know, and these guys have all this, you know, have all these years of drilling these movements, and, you know, we're trying to make up for it and be authentic as possible, excuse me, in such a short amount of time. Um, it's a, it's a lot. And then you have to deal with, you know, David and, and Max, uh, you know, putting whoopee cushions, uh, and your gear or something out there on your whoopee cushions, but they, <laughs> Max is a very good, uh, he's very good at pranking people. So you gotta watch your back, you know, um, <laughs> and David likes to do things, you know, if we're laying on the ground and we're supposed to be still, he'll, right before we go shoot, he'll start pulling my shoes off or something. And then, and then they will action and he'll just stay still. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I gotta put my shoe on and get up and move. You know, it's all the ribbing and all that stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I um. Uh, it becomes a family, though, right? Like you no, one. Close. And that's why we're this huge uh, dysfunctional uh, family uh, of, of of brothers and sisters who, you know, you see some more than what, most of the time. It's, it's me, me, um, Max. Me, Max, AJ, and, and, and David. But me, Max, AJ, David Tyler, uh, Scott Fox, and uh, Justin Melnick. Uh, we're together like you know eighty percent of the time, and then and then Jess and uh, Tony come in. So um, it's been a pretty pretty uh, it's a pretty cool thing. So my mother watches Seal Team a lot mm-hmm. more than I do. She watches it a lot, and you know when you got the role on SEAL team, you obviously knew that it was a main role, but she was kind of telling me that like your character in some episodes, it's like about your character. Like you're the, you're the main character in the show. Did you, in terms of the workload or this on screen time of your character, Ray, were you expecting it to be that much in certain episodes? Like, or were you prepared for it? Because there's some episodes where it's like about your character, which is crazy. Yeah, the well, the the episode, the episodes are, it's an ensemble cast. Yeah. So we all knew it, it, at times this was going to be a little bit more about one than the other, uh, because that person's story takes lead in that episode. Yep. Um, I'm, you know, uh, I'm, I'm the two IC, I'm second in command on the show. So, uh, you know, I knew, especially the way this show was pitched to me, that, you know, the relationship between uh, Jason and Ray is probably like the uh, most paramount uh, relationship on that team and everything kind of spans from that in a lot of ways um, because the show is obviously about Jason's journey but it's about his journey with his brothers Yep. yep, yep. Uh, and the first brother being being Ray, Ray, Raymond Perry Raymond Emmanuel Perry R.I.P. Think about it um, so I knew to, to be prepared you know for all of that. And I don't, I don't really think that the episode is about me. I just think that story in there focuses a little bit more on Ray at that, at that point, but it's about, you know, even when it's, when that story takes precedent, you, you, it's all about the brothers and the sisters, you know, that are around them helping um, and, 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 and helping push that story along. Uh, I don't think any one of us uh, you know, have more of a story have more of the show than than the other except in those moments where that's you know when you see you may see a little bit more of one or the other of us no, absolutely. So but, yeah i was of, very prepared um, yeah so. no for sure one of the things i like about yourself one of the things i like about neil brown jr is you know like i've known you for a few years now and i had you on the show like uh talking with straight on compton you know, i think that was two years ago um yeah, yeah. but you, you come off and, you know, even how you answer some of my questions, you're very humble. How important is it to be humble in the industry that you're in, Neil? Um, more important to some than others. Uh, that's, I, I don't think it's a, it's not a requirement for the, for the industry. Uh, it's just how I feel. I, I come from very humble beginnings. I come from nothing. Uh, and I shouldn't say nothing. I come from something. I come from two loving parents and a loving family uh, that had nothing financially, but we were rich, you know, in love. Um, so I think it's a duty. That, and, my, and my mother and father always raised me to be, you know, 
you know, I was raised in the church, so you know, I was humble and meek, yet bold and courageous at the same time. A walking conundrum. I'm a Gemini, so I'm able to do it. Uh, <laughs> be bold, but but also be humble because life is a humbling experience, and every day that you get to breathe is a blessing because so many don't get to do it. And though some of them, those that can do it don't do it very well. Um, if you have your health uh, and you have your 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 your, your, your mental health and, and and you have people that love you, I think it's you know your duty to be you know be secure, be assured, um, be you know, courageous, be bold, um, but, you know, take heart and be humble uh, because it could be gone tomorrow. And to do something in, in, in a job where, you know, I, I mean, I'm from the streets. I, I, people, nobody that I grew up with can even come close to a job like this. I play pretend for a living. It's a, very, it's a, it's a huge blessing. It's one I work damn hard for uh, and continue to work hard for. Um, but it's still like there was there's no reason I should be doing the work that I'm doing at the level I'm doing other than the fact that uh, I've been blessed and been given an opportunity, you know, um, to get those minutes in. You know, <laughs> you make the team and, you know, you may be riding a bench and then you, you get a minute and you better you better make it happen. And, um, you know, fortunately, I was able to make some put some you know points on the board, get some buckets and. And uh, and and I'm so blessed to be here around people that I've watched. I watched David, you know, on Bones and and and, and Buffy and all all that before I was even really before I even really thought that I could be a successful actor and whatever that meant. Um, so you know, I I just have a duty uh, to 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 live my life the way that my my parents and my grandparents and God intended. Wow. You're so cool, man. I have to say it. You're you're just you have this like these vibes that you're just kind of like I don't know, man. Like I love what you just the comparison of like the sports, like the buckets. Like I love that, man. It's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a lot of time on my hands. Well, I had a lot of time on my hands before I started getting these shows. So I'd be sitting there thinking, like, hmm, what am I doing? You know, just trying to create, make sense of it all. Um, oh yeah, uh, earlier, um, I, cause I realized, and then I was, I was looking on my phone and I was like looking at these notes that I had written down, uh, and I, I made a mistake and I slipped up. I, I went into battle Los Angeles when I said Jeffrey Turnoff, that was a producer of, uh, battle Los Angeles, but that, but we were talking about never back down my mind. See, while we were talking, my mind went that way, <laughs> you know? Uh, but it was, it's Craig and we, Craig Baumgarten was the producer because Craig did the uh, Universal Soldier movies and I remember being so hyped about doing Never Back Down with him because he had worked with Van Damme who was one of my you know Van Damme was one of my guys I wanted to be like Van Damme <laughs> absolutely <laughs> we've had we've had Rob Van Damme on the show the wrestler oh yeah no doubt no doubt <laughs> which is awesome Neil you know, Van Damme's uh, real name is Van Berenberg yeah <laughs> <laughs> Some clubs Van Vernberg. That wouldn't have went over. I don't, but I don't think there's a coincidence that Rob Van Dam from the WWE. Like I, I think there's because especially his style. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a coincidence. Well, everybody knows the real Van Dam is Rush. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Pierre. Yeah, that's the real Van Dam. <laughs> George Saint Pierre did all that stuff he did in movies for real. <laughs> yeah. I, it's uh, uh, yeah. no, it's it's amazing, Neil. Thank you so much for coming back on the show, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, brother. I appreciate you. No, I I appreciate it. Where can people follow you on social media? Um, I uh, at Instagram and Twitter at Neil Brown Jr. Uh, G, uh, Neil Brown, yeah, Neil Brown Jr. Perfect, man. Well, seriously, congrats on all the success with SEAL Team thus far and Insecure as well. And no, that's awesome, man. Just keep on going. Just keep being the humble, cool guy you are, man. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate you. No problem. You. This has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Neil Brown Jr. and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.